When I played footy, the best guy on our team at Kickups was the worst player on the field. He was always a sub, so Kickups don't mean much. Well, let's just assume that your story is true. I personally don't believe it. But does this mean that Kickups don't matter at all? No, and here's why. The fact of the matter is this. Even if your story is true, your story is the outlier. It is the exception, not the norm. On the overwhelming majority of teams, the players that are best at juggling the ball will be among your most skillful players for a very simple reason. They probably spend more time on the ball practicing their skills. Now, this is especially true at the youth level. But from what I've seen, it's still mostly true even at the professional level. Look at players like Juan Alvino Gaucho, Diego Maradona, Pelé, Cristiano Ronaldo, Neymar, and of course, much, much more. All of them are amazing at juggling. And they're literally the most skillful players to ever play the game. And here's the thing, no one's saying that freestyling makes you the best player in the world. There are other aspects of the game. You have to be physically a good athlete. You also have to be tactically knowledgeable. And if you only have the technique, you're not going to play at the highest levels. So juggling is not everything, but it's also a very big something. So if you ever do find, say a freestyler, and they suck, they can't play, it's probably not because their skills aren't very good. It's probably because they're not an amazing athlete or they're not tactically very good. But these aren't mutually exclusive. And if you think they are, you're ignoring most of the best players in the world.